If you've visited the Horowitz Center recently, you've probably noticed intriguing works of art at the north and south entrances. Grace Anastasiadis has more on the story. Two sculptures, The Cycle by Hannah Jubran and Autumn Amber by Glenn Zweigart, have been brought to campus through a Howard County Arts Council program called Art Sites. Colleen West, Executive Director of the Arts Council, is passionate about the program, now in its second year. Public art enhances and enlivens community, uh, community spaces. And so a public art program like Art Sites uh, offers the public an opportunity to see art where they might not otherwise see it. As part of the annual Art Sites initiative, 12 sites around Howard County are selected to receive a sculptural piece. Artists from across the country are invited to submit works for selection. The sites that are invited to participate uh, get to pick their own artists. So they are invested in the process. They uh, get very excited about the work that they, they're, they're selecting. Response from the community has been encouraging to West and her team. One of the stories uh, that I've heard from a group of cyclists is they you know, cycle around Colombia and they have been trying to get to each of the sculptures as a cycling group. HCC's Art Sites piece for 2012-2013 was The Cycle, located on the campus quad at the north entrance to the Horowitz Center. The featured piece for 2013-2014 is Autumn Amber, located in the Moxley Garden at the south entrance to the Horowitz Center. Glenn Swigart was one of the artists um, who came to us through our promotional efforts. His work was um, absolutely amazing. The stonework that he does is just so exquisite. His craftsmanship is just e excellent. Zweigart was attracted to art sites for many reasons. I think I heard first through word of mouth that uh, I needed to look into the Howard County Arts Council because they were offering an excellent fee for the rental or the exposure of your sculpture. And the other interesting detail is that I attended graduate school at Maryland Institute and I did a graduate seminar on cities and urban development and ran across Columbia, which was being developed at the time. And it is laid out, it was planned to be an ideal community. And it's so fun for me to come back and now be participating in the ideal community. As a longtime faculty member of New York State College, Zweigart values higher education and is delighted to have Autumn Amber placed on a college campus. I just think it really fits beautifully in this setting. And uh, I think the two of, of them are talking very much to each other. And that's really what I like about outdoor sculpture is that it can enliven its environment. It can be this kind of focal point. West hopes the program continues in the future. The Arts Sites program is a great first step because it allows the Arts Council and its partners to experiment and test the idea of public art. So this gives us an idea of what the community likes and enjoys and what they would like to see more of without the financial risk involved um, in a, a more formal program. But we're going to take what we've learned from this process, continue to build on it, and build towards a formal uh, public art program and, um, so that we can continue to you know, delight and engage the community for years to come. HCC has purchased the cycle and the college is still accepting contributions towards the piece. If you would like to play a role in supporting public art on campus, please contact the HCC Educational Foundation at howardcc.edu slash donors. For information about the Arts Council's Art Sites program and sculpture locations, visit hocoarts.org. Autumn Amber can be viewed at HCC through April 2014.